Hello, my name is iKing Skies, and we are back with another video. Now, I wanted to talk about Alexa Bliss and Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley, the last time Rhea Ripley and Alexa Bliss even saw each other or were close to each other, it was in the Royal Rumble. Rhea Ripley tossed Alexa Bliss over the top rope before she can even transform, and that is why I'm having this video today. I just wanted to talk about the possibility of having Alexa Bliss and Randy Orton row. Alexa Bliss and Rhea Ripley for WrestleMania 37. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, Alexa Bliss and Rhea Ripley can be special just because Rhea Ripley is a big star and Alexa Bliss is a big star. Now, the reason why I say this is because Alexa Bliss doesn't need the championship to be a big product name. She's already held all the championships and she doesn't really need it. Even The Fiend and Alexa really, they don't even really care about it. Their characters don't care about it. They always talk about it as it's, it's a toy. It's something to play with. They don't talk about it as it's like a WWE championship. But Rhea Ripley probably needs that. Even though she's still a good household name. Well, she's not a household name. But she's still a big beast without that championship. She's going to need a main roster title run to at least make us seem like she's a big person. Because not everybody watches NXT and knows just how special Rhea Ripley is. So, you're going to have to slap a title on her soon. But... It would be perfect, a perfect, perfect way to introduce this by her beating Alexa Bliss at WrestleMania. Now, I know <laughs> you guys are hovering over the dislike button right now, but let me let me say something. Ale Rhea Ripley needs to win this match. Alexa Bliss, on the other hand, just doesn't. She has held titles. She has did this. She has did that. And... Alexa Bliss transformation is really strong, but Rhea Ripley has already proved that she can top Alexa Bliss. And Alexa Bliss, again, doesn't need the win. And The Fiend has lost to Goldberg and actually recovered. Let me repeat that again. The Fiend lost to Goldberg and has recovered. So I'm pretty sure Alexa Bliss can take an L at WrestleMania and recover. So let's make Rhea Ripley win this match. But the reason why this can be so special is because the wrestling between these two can be really, really good. Alexa Bliss is a Alexa Bliss playing mind games in the ring, transforming through her three <laughs> personas while Rhea Ripley reacts would be something to see. Not only that, but the match would between them would be interesting because technically in your modern day wrestling days, this match would be a match that would have Alexa Bliss being the face and have Rhea Ripley being the heel. But I think Alexa Bliss will take part as the heel situation or kind of like the tweener situation. But it's still weird because Alexa Bliss frame and stuff like that is so small that Rhea Ripley would look like the bad guy. But if Alexa Bliss transformed to her into her superhuman power or whatever you call it, her sister Abigail version of herself, then sister Alexa Bliss would have a good chance. And it's not like Alexa Bliss didn't just pin the Raw Women's Champion just a few nights back. Alexa Bliss is a solid wrestler and can elevate her game when playing, when fighting big matches at WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, etc., etc., etc. And Rhea Ripley can fight almost and do almost literally anything and Rhea Ripley is more taller stronger than Alexa Bliss so having Alexa Bliss use her transformation in order to equal the game can be something to see and I love to see the promos and things about them just Alexa Bliss trying to get under Rhea Ripley's skin talking about how she lost at WrestleMania to Charlotte and just saying that she's been in NXT for such a long, long time that you're below me or something like that. Just trying to play mind games would be interesting because Rhea Ripley doesn't really have any mind weaknesses. I mean, there's no really doubts in her career. Like, The Fiend 
can like the fiend made fun of john cena so good i mean he didn't make fun of him he just got in his head but you can't really do that with rhea ripley unless you really make fun of the the uh, wrestlemania 37 laws but it's not really anything you can do with rhea ripley because she's a beast <laughs> and john cena was a beast too but john cena had some things in his career that ended up being tested and being exposed to in the public and stuff like that how he wished he was the good guy and stuff i mean how he wished he was the bad guy and stuff like that but i'm getting off topic now but that's just how it is i can't wait to see the promos between alexa bliss and rhea ripley and yeah that is it that is three reasons why alexa bliss and rhea ripley is a must see is a must do for wrestlemania 37 my name is i kings guys if you like these videos like and subscribe and thanks thank you thank you thank you for watching I am the hero, man, I got them by chain. Shuffling on the ass like I'm the new gang. Passing these missions like life is all easy. Just screaming to the mic like my name is.